we're taking you to Playa Vivos, also known as Playa Muertos. One of the first things you're going to want to know is how to get there. It's reputed to be very difficult to reach, but it really isn't so. There are actually three different ways that you can go about reaching this isolated and beautiful beach. First, you can grab a kayak over at the restaurant Momo's in Playa Pachote. About a 30-minute kayak and you will reach the soft white sand beaches. You can also drive Driving past the entrance to Playa Pachote, if you're coming from Tambor or Cobano, you will drive for about seven miles and then look for a little country turnoff. It's actually the only right-hand turn after the entrance to Playa Pachote. Driving down this road about 15 minutes, it's a beautiful country road. At the very end, you will find a place you can park, and that is the beginning of the trail. At low tide, you can walk around the point on the rocks. This is the trail. It's a pretty easy trail. Most little kids and even older adults can manage it pretty well. Watch little people on some of these trails, but little kids are a lot like little mountain goats in my experience. Take a panga from Tambor, which is way over there on the other side of the bay. If you speak any Spanish, Playa Vivos would be like a living beach, whereas Playa Muertos would be a dead beach. It was originally called Playa Muertos, and the current owners of the land around us prefer to call it Playa Vivos. In Costa Rica, there are no private beaches. So even if you find a private island, you can still go to the beaches because everything from about 500 meters from the highest tide is actually public land. The beaches are open to anyone that wants to visit them. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. If you're in this area, be sure to check out our episodes on the waterfall and beach at Cocolito and also our episode on Tambor, plus many more on the way. Another good, good